Shelby Braylon doing the dilated or hydromorphone um, bolus or IV push medication. I have a central line on my patient. This patient is a 35 year old and they're complaining of 9 out of 10 pain. Um, this patient also has a morphine allergy. So I know that. I've gone and done my calculations. I saw in the MAR when I was doing my five rights, I, you know, the right dose, the right um, route, the right patient, the right amount, and the right time, which after I'm done with all this, I'd also do the right documentation. Um, I saw that not only does the patient have a morphine allergy, but in their central line they have TPN running and that's in the most proximal line. They have an unused port, which is the distal, it's the shortest one. And then in their medial line, they have fluids running. And the fluids running are D5 half normal saline. Dilaudid is compatible with D5 half normal saline. So I will be able to give um, this medication in this fluids line, and that will be the safest or, you know, like the cheapest, because I won't have to waste the flush, because um, I can just give it right into there and it, the fluid will just help flush it in. So that'll be the safest as far as infection and the cheapest route instead of using the unused line. Um, I saw that the patient also at 0730 had 0.5 milligrams of dilaudid given, and now an hour later, I think it's an hour later, they are complaining of 9 out of 10 pain again. So you can only give 1.5 milligrams or 1.5 yes, milligrams of dilaudid every hour, every three hours. And so um, I'm just going to have to give just the 1 milligram because they have already had 0.5. So I went ahead and I, I did my calculations. I drew up the one milligram of the dilaudid and I for ease of giving it over the rate of infusion because um, the rate of infusion for this is to ev over two to three minutes and so for the ease of going ahead and administering it easier I'm gonna go ahead and oh, I'm gonna have had a little needle on there and so I'm gonna go ahead and put my medication in two mils of normal saline. Okay, so we'll pretend that that worked out for me. And so I did that, I've got the air out of the line. I've already identified my patient as far as um, looking at their, their wristband, and it's hard to do that when I've got just a Mr. Chester chest here, but I've looked at their wristband, I've done their two patient identifiers, which is their you know name and their birth date, and then I've gone ahead and checked it with against my MAR and I've done my last, my third um, five rights of medication administration. And I've got everything ready to go. I've explained the procedure to my patient. I've, um, I know that they've got that allergy to morphine. So what I'm going to do there is that um, it's kind of contraindicated. Dilaudid is contraindicated in patients who are opioid tolerant. And so what I did is I went and I called the physician and then I, um, you know, just explained that this patient has a morphine allergy and I didn't know if this was going to be safe for me to give it. And the physician said that it benefits outweigh the risks, so just to go ahead and give it. And I'll just be really vigilant as to monitoring the patient after I have given it and make sure that we're not having any problems. So I, I went ahead and did that, got the okay from the doctor. Um, I just want to point out that the antidote that I would have ready and on hand would be Narcan, because that's what the antidote is for Dilaudid. So I'm going to pick this port with the fluids. I'm going to go ahead and scrub the hub for 15 seconds, not only the sides, but also the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and attach this. And I don't have to stop my infusion. It can just go ahead and go in with the fluids. It'll help push the medication along. And I'm going to give this over three minutes, a mil a minute, because I've got the two mils of normal saline and the one mil of the dilaudid. So I'll just go ahead over three minutes and push a mil every minute. 